do your positivity fitting now. On a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 being the lowest and 100 being the highest, how positive do you feel about your body right now? My name is Dr Melissa Atkinson and I'm a lecturer in psychology at the University of Bath. And my research is about understanding body image and how to improve body image, particularly as a way of preventing more serious concerns such as eating disorders. This project was a really great opportunity to bring together the kind of the research and academic interest with the kind of creative expertise that Kilter Theatre brings. Uh, and the, the main aim was to be able to kind of challenge conceptions about body image in the community and change the way we talk about bodies from an, a, a focus on appearance to a focus on all the wonderful and weird things that our body does for us. Kilter is a theatre company. We're based here in Bath and we create public engagement projects. So we collaborate with a wide range of communities to put across new ideas, engage new audiences, and hopefully have an impact on behaviour. We're hoping to work together on the subject of body positivity to increase body positivity. So celebrating all the amazing things that your body can do. What we're planning during the Bath Fringe is for four days of activity hopefully in a kind of disused shop unit, something like that. And at, at the centre of all of this, there's this uh, installation we're making, a cubicle. Welcome to the cubicle. This is our cubicle pop-up performance space. So the audience sit here where we are and um, then Ollie and I perform through these little flaps and everything and it's an interactive performance space where we ask the audience to think differently about their bodies. Do you know, 80% of women feel that the media's representation of beauty makes them feel insecure. But your body is your own definition of beauty. 53% of men worry about what other people think of their appearance. Your body is unbranded. You carry it with you. It's your most treasured possession. You are it. It is you. So we've got these mirrors, and some of them are a bit distorted. We wanted to create something which is quite different to a, uh, a high street changing cubicle where you have sort of a certain distortion of your body, certain kind of light to set up certain expectations and disappointments. And here we've got um, kind of shaving mirrors and stuff, but each one on the back uh, celebrates the diversity of the human form. So all different bodies of different shapes, sizes, appearances, skin colours, ages, visible differences, um, so that we can look in the mirror and know that we are just part of a, of a normal spectrum and be happy about who we are. So we've had a huge range of uh, people come through the cubicle and young and old and yeah I think they found it quite surprising but generally they have come out uh, feeling just so much better about their bodies and looking at their bodies in a very different way. I like the idea that thinking of your body in terms of what it can do for you rather than how it looks can be a way to feel more positive about it. I can't stop smiling actually. It was it was an amazing performance, yeah. Asked to look in a mirror, normally my eyes will flick to a few key things that I don't like about my face that I try to manage. And instead of that, it just flicked to the other parts of my face that I've ended up feeling positive about, which I never do normally. Working with Kilter has been really fun over the last couple of months uh, and we've really developed a, a fun series of uh, events around body image and particularly body positivity. Uh, so this is running over four days during the Fringe Festivals in Bath where we've got some kind of theatrical performances happening in the morning that Kilter are running. Uh, and then we've got some workshops in the afternoon and they really focus on you know, different ways of being in the body and the different things that the body does. So we've got things like singing and dreaming and, and yoga 
and some disco aerobics. And then the evening sessions are a bit more research driven. So we're bringing together um, some kind of expert researchers uh, and inviting the public in to have some real kind of you know, discussion around some of these topics. So we talk a lot um, with the students about the, the pressures that exist in our society to look a particular way. So far, the reaction's been really positive. We've spent this morning running the theatrical performances inside the cubicle. So members of the public have come in and have had a, an, a fun experience that they probably wouldn't usually get in a changing room. Uh, and, and generally, walking away feeling more positive and uh, kind of empowered to do something a little bit different and think a little bit different about their bodies, particularly with regard to you know, focusing on what the body does rather than how it looks. Everybody is different. Everybody. We are all unique. Hi, just wanted to say that if you're feeling a bit awkward in this confined space, it's uh, understandable. Um, all the attention is making your heart beat faster, your blood vessels are dilating to get oxygen into your system, and that's what causes your cheeks to go red and makes you a little bit warm. It's perfectly normal. It's an evolutionary advantage. It's because you have an amazing body.